This is my Lenovo Legion Go. It ships with Windows 11, but I've been trying to try out different Linux distributions. The first one I tried out is called Chimera OS. It's an Arch-based Linux distro that I really like, but a lot of people have been recommending Bazite, so that's what we're gonna try out today. And I'm always looking at these different Linux distributions from a perspective of a new person and how easy it is to get going. The Bazite site has you answer a few questions before it gives you the recommended ISO to use. On the first boot, you're greeted with the Bazite desktop, where it has a wizard that kind of walks you through the setup process and gets you up and running. Now, Bazite may take a little bit more time to get up and running, but with that little bit of time investment at the beginning, it pays dividends in the future. So by the time I got to test out the first game on Bazite, I had it looking pretty much exactly how I wanted it to look, as well as all the third-party software that I like to use. So things I like about Bazite, the lock feature. People may not see that as a great benefit, but it does exactly what I want it to do. Another thing I like about Bazite is that it's just as good as for beginners as it is for power users. If you're a beginner and you just wanna click through that wizard, not install anything extra and just use it stock out of the box, it'll work perfectly fine. But it's also great for power users because it saves you a lot of time. Another thing I like is the desktop mode. So the desktop mode on this versus Chimera OS, Chimera OS desktop mode was very bare bones. It gave you a very locked down version of Linux. The desktop mode on this is more of a true desktop mode. And another thing I like about the desktop mode is the virtual keyboard. The virtual keyboard is really good out of the box. So I really feel like I never have to plug a keyboard in or a mouse. And to get back to Steam, we just click return to game mode. That will launch Steam big picture mode. Another thing I like is it utilizes some of these extra buttons that the Legion Go has. You see it has these kind of extra buttons that you can map to different things. Well, Bazai actually utilizes some of those out of the box. So this button right here at the top on the back, you can click that and it will bring up the virtual keyboard. And this inside button on the back right side will open up the Bazite menu. Here you can change a lot of physical things like the fan, the RGB, and what controller you want to emulate. The other Linux distro that I tried does not utilize these back buttons at all out of the box. So I thought that was pretty good on Bazite's part to go the extra mile. So let me show you some of the add-ons that I got going on here. So the battery tracker is pretty self-explanatory. It tracks your battery usage over however many days you want it to track. Next is CSS Loader. This is how I got my UI looking so good. You can go in here and download pretty much anything. Uh, anything you can think of, you can pretty much customize. I like to have my UI kind of clean and minimalistic, so I got the big art with the small icons, but I also changed around the color scheme, like this dark purple. You can pretty much change everything with the CSS Loader. Decky Terminal is pretty much what it sounds like. It's a terminal. Emu Decky is so you can manage your Emu Deck and you know your emulators. We won't go you know too much heavy on the emulation talk. You know, Nintendo might send them at my door. Magic Pods, that's for AirPod connectivity, works really good. Proton DB badges is one of my favorites as well. If you don't know what Proton DB is, it's a site that you go on to figure out what games run good on Linux. So Proton is kind of that underlying secret sauce that translates those Windows games into Linux. And Proton DB gives you a nice badge over those games. So this one has a platinum rating, meaning it runs really well on the handheld. Let's do Baldur's Gate. It pulls it directly from the Proton DB website and gives you a rating on how well that game will run on your device. Which brings me to the next add-on called Wine Cellar. Here we can see all these different Proton builds that will help us run games on our handheld and on Linux in general. So after having a few days to play around with Bazite, I gotta say, this OS is perfect for me and the Legion Go. No shade against Chimera OS, it is a great operating system. However, it did have some shortcomings when it came to the Legion Go. I'm sure people had better results on different handhelds. It was pretty new to the Legion Go, so I won't fault it for that. But Bazite is just so polished, it works perfect on the Legion Go. It's open source, it's got a ton of contributors. There are several builds of it to cover multiple hardware platforms. It's not locked down, everything on the desktop is accessible. It just checks all my boxes. The only thing I'm regretting is not switching to Bazite earlier after reading all the comments telling me to try it out. But you let me know in the comments what operating system are you gaming on right now. It's okay if it's Windows. But before you head out, check out this video I made where I got World of Warcraft The War Within, the newest expansion, running on the Lenovo Legion Go, running Chimera OS. Peace.